Snipers in most games never really clicked with me. You'd be hard pressed to see me using a long range class instead of Battlefield, and even then I usually go for the more medium range iron sight rifles. But after playing Garden Warfare for so long, I can pretty confidently say I love playing Cactus. I think something about the consistent sum out of damage and ability to still get up in people's faces if you're good enough really sold me on the character. This video along with All Star is probably my most awaited one, at least for my own benefit. So just how good are the cacti? You'll see max ranks completely destroying turf games with default cactus and making scientists and imps high for the lives of future, but how actually good is she? Is cactus a real long range threat or a mild annoyance at best? I've calculated the DPS, rid of fire, and time to fake which of all the cacti to see just that. As per usual, I've left timestamps in the description if you want to skip to any specific part of the video, as well as links to my data if you'd like to view it yourself. I'd also recommend checking the comment section for any corrections I might need to make, or if you have any questions you might want to ask. As per usual, we've got some basic stats to go over. This includes pretty much anything that's observable in-game or that doesn't require a calculation. First is ammo. Cactus and Future Cactus will have an equal amount of ammo, with 12 by default and 15 with the upgrade. Fire, Power, and Jade all have 10 by default and 12 with the upgrade. And Camo and Zen both have a static 5, as they lack an ammo upgrade. Ice has 15 by default and 18 with the upgrade. Bandit has 20 by default and 24 with the upgrade. And Petrified has 8 by default and 10 with the upgrade. For Reload, Default Cactus, Zen Cactus, and Petrified Cactus have a 2 second reload by default. Default and Petrified both have a 1.5 second reload with their upgrade, but Zen has a 1.7 second reload with just one upgrade, and a 1.3 second reload with two upgrades. Fire, Ice, and Power all have a 2.5 second reload by default, and a 2 second reload with the upgrade. Future, Bandit, and Jade all have a 2.2 second reload by default, and a 1.7 second reload with the upgrade. Finally, Camo Cactus takes the longest with a 3.5 second reload by default, and a 2.8 second reload with the upgrade. Next is damage numbers. A decent chunk of cacti don't have any damage falloff. This includes Default, Future, Camo, Bandit, Zen, and Petrified. Default does 33 damage on a headshot and 27 damage on a body shot. Future does 22 damage on a headshot and 18 on a body shot. With a half charge, Future does 54 damage on a headshot, 48 on a body shot, and 15 on splash. With a full charge, she does 102 damage on a headshot, 90 on a body shot, and 30 on splash. Giving her the highest single shot damage of any character in the game, not counting abilities. Camacax has 66 damage on a headshot, and 33 on a body shot. Bandicax has 12 damage on a headshot, and 10 on a body shot. Zencax has 21 damage on a first shot, 32 on her second, 43 on her third, 54 on her fourth, and 65 on her fifth. Zen also does 10 splash for every shot. Petrified does 49 on a headshot, 43 on a body shot, 15 on splash, and 32 on detonation. The cacti with damage falloff include Fire, Ice, Power, and Jade. Fire does 21 at long, 25 at medium, and 28 at close. Ice does 18 at long, 21 at medium, and 24 at close. Power does 24 at long, and 30 at medium and close. Finally, J does 22 at long, 26 at medium, 27 at close, and 15 on splash. Travel time is an arbitrary stat that is used for calculating time to kill. It also gives us a general understanding of projectile speed. Almost every cactus has the same projectile speed, with the exceptions being Future and Petrified. Future is slightly slower, and Petrified is much, MUCH slower. Future Cactus takes 1.7 seconds to charge a half charge, and 4 for a full charge. Ice Cactus takes 5 shots to freeze by default, and 4 with the upgrade, giving her a time to freeze of 1.6 by default, and 1.2 when upgraded. Rate of Fire is the most accurate way to measure how fast a character fires, and it's the single most important stat for determining DPS and time to kill. We specifically want rounds per minute, which you can get by taking a character's attack interval under 1 and multiplying that by 60. Default, Fire, Ice, and Jade all have the same 150 rounds per minute. And Power Cactus is ever so slightly faster 175 rounds per minute. Future is double the speed of Default, with 300 rounds per minute. Bandit is unsurprisingly the fastest, with 400 rounds per minute. Zen and Petrified both tie for 95 rounds per minute, and Camo slogs behind that at 60 rounds per minute, meaning she can only fire a shot every second. DPS is the simplest way to compare characters, and most tend to default to it when it comes to comparison. It isn't always accurate though, as Time to Kill is a much better representation of actual in-game scenarios, so I'd recommend checking out that section after you watch this part. You get DPS by multiplying a character's damage number at a certain range with their rounds per second, or RPM divided by 60. We'll be using Cactus as our average, as she's the default variant. 
She has a consistent 82.5 damage per second in all ranges, and overtakes quite a few of the other cacti entirely. The cacti that are worse at all ranges include Fire, Ice, Camel, Bandit, Jade, and Petrified. Remember those characters, because a few of them are going to change drastically in the time to kill section. Power Cactus is worse at long range, but just barely better at medium and close. Which, while quite good, is a bit redundant considering most of Cactus' interactions will be at long range. Future Cactus takes the top spot for all ranges, with 110 damage per second, which is pretty impressive for most characters. I'd also like to quickly call attention to Zen Cactus. Because of how her gimmick works, I had to calculate her DPS a bit different. I took her total damage per clip and divided that by how long it takes her to empty her clip, plus her reload. It's not particularly accurate to a real game scenario, but it is accurate to what her DPS would be. Okay, I know this looks like another all-star, but trust me when I say this is just how burst damage classes work. It's not all red on time to kill. Time to kill is the most accurate way to compare characters and see how well they perform in certain situations against different characters. You get time to kill by multiplying a character's attack interval by one less the amount of shots they need to get a particular vanquish, and then adding the travel time. We're still using Cactus as our average, as she's the default variant. I'd also like to draw attention to a few lines. The plus fire damage line in a fire cactus refers to how a character can be guaranteed to die at 25 health when fighting a fire variant. This line takes that into account and removes 25 health from the health pools above for its calculations. Zen Cactus has two lines, one for she starts firing with a full clip, and the other for she had the ideal amount of shots to quickly vanquish an enemy. Fire Cactus is worse in almost every range and health pool, but in medium and close she averages out with 75-100. With the plus fire damage line, she's mostly slower at long range, being average at 75-100, but in medium and long she improves significantly, taking the best spot for 75 at both ranges and being better at 100 and average at all other health pools. Ice Cactus is slower at all ranges, but her freezing makes up for a decent chunk of that. Power Cactus is worse at long range, but it is pretty much a stat swap at medium and close, being faster at all health pools except 125 where she's slower. Future Cactus is better at every range and health pool, taking the top spot for the 200s, medium and close 150, and tying for close to 125. You probably know the drill by now with her pre-charge line. She's basically an insta-kill for anyone who isn't all-star or super reigns, and even then she'd still probably win that fight. Chemic Cactus is pretty much a perfect stat swap. She's better at 100 and 125 at all ranges, taking the top spot for 125 at all ranges as well. She's unfortunately worse at all of the health pools, but 5 out of the 8 classes isn't bad in my opinion. Bandit Cactus consistently is worse at 75, 125, and 150, and average at 100 and 200. Jade is worse at long range, but at medium and close, she's average at 75, 100. Zen Cactus with a full clip is worse at all ranges, even taking the worst spot for most close range health pools. But with an ideal amount of shots, she's very good. At long range, she takes the top spot for 75, 100, and 150. At medium, she takes the top spot for 100, and is better at 75 and 150. And at close, she takes the top spot for 100 again, and is better at 75 and 150 again, but is average at 125 this time. Petrified is worse at long and medium, but at close, she's better at 75 and even at 100 and 125. Her detonation damage takes the worst spot for all ranges, however. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually really happy with how all the cacti are balanced. Most of them are pretty good stat swaps or have some kind of situational advantage that makes them unique. The obvious exception here is Future Cactus, but it's no secret at this point that most charged characters are ridiculously powerful. Also, 100 subscribers, jeez. When I first made this channel, it was nothing more than me and a couple friends messing around, but this series has been getting a ton of support. I've had to slow down production and take a few breaks due to school, but I'm still having fun making these. I've been debating whether or not I should do a Q&A or something, so if y'all give me enough questions in the comments of this video and others, I'll give you one. I'm actually going to be remastering my Foot Soldier video next since a lot of the math was wrong in it, and the format is a lot different than their videos, so make sure to subscribe to stay notified when that'll happen. Anyway, I need to go work so I have more time for these videos, so I'll see you next time.